Today, we have huge Roblox news, like a popular Roblox game ending, people mad at Roblox YouTuber, a popular game struggling, and so much more. Let's get right into it. Let's start with the Roblox game struggling. Doors has absolutely exploded this year, but with this behind the scenes, they've been dealing with constant issues, especially on Spotify. So the music in Doors is actually only for Doors, it was composed for them. And they actually outputted all these on Spotify, which is nice. But people have been taking advantage of this. Firstly, if you remember a few months ago, someone re-uploaded them and was false copyright striking people, which is really bad and in some ways probably illegal. This issue was fixed though, but now they're dealing with more. Firstly, for some reason, people found a way to add their own songs to their profile. So like it would suggest other people's songs somehow, and promote them. And it seems like they did this just by adding them to the credits. And then that same person started uploading songs from Doors under different names. All this is super frustrating for them, and hopefully they can get it fixed. Because it kind of sucks how many people are trying to use them and capitalize on their success. But before we move on, please subscribe if you're enjoying, for more videos like this. And our next topic is that Roblox has made Roblox cheaper, kind of. So for Black Friday on Amazon, there's a few deals on the gift cards. The $10 one is $1 off, the $25 is $2 off, and the $50 is $5 off. So it's not the biggest sale, but if you're going to pick this up anyways, it doesn't hurt saving a few bucks. I think this is also only for US sadly, but to be fair it wasn't a crazy sale to begin with. And next up let's talk about people actually getting mad at a Roblox YouTuber. And out of all the Roblox YouTubers, people are mad at Chaser Rooney. So he put up this tweet talking about the new Roblox avatars, and how these look weird and kinda off. But people took this and interpreted it completely different than what he was thinking. People thought he was being weird and inappropriate, but he wasn't even trying to. He was literally just commenting on it that it looks weird. And he also talked about this in his new video, explaining that it wasn't his intentions and people were looking at it wrong. Which I think is 100% fair. People are taking this way too far. In the end of the day, it's just a Roblox avatar that looks kinda weird. But let's move on to our next story, which is pretty interesting. Hello was VG put this tweet saying he got hacked. But apparently the message isn't even used on Roblox anymore. It's like super old. And this tweet was made recently. Meaning for some reason he's lying about getting hacked, or maybe he's trying to make a joke since the whole hacking situation is going on? I don't know. Just seems kind of a weird thing to do. And speaking of the hacking situation, let's talk about our second last story. We're all probably familiar with the hacking incident by now. The owner of the popular plugin search blogs uses it to hack a bunch of people and steal their Robots Unlimiteds. But the story actually got so popular that news outlets started covering it. And there's so many articles on this. A lot even from non-English speaking countries as well. This was pretty interesting and crazy to see, because we don't often see stuff like this in the Roblox community go this global. But to be fair, it was a pretty big security breach. And finally, let's get to our last story, which is kinda sad. After years, Minitoon has finally announced that Piggy is officially over. No more updates, not even small ones. He's only gonna do bug fixes. And with this, Minitoon goes on a long thread, basically saying that he's completely burned out and isn't passionate working on the game anymore, but is super thankful for everything, and everyone supporting him. And obviously people knew Piggy in terms of chapters was over, but he was still releasing updates after this. So for an official end to the game is kinda sad. Minitoon's even trending over this. All good things must come to an end though. And on the bright side, Minitoon is still working on his next game, Big Andrew City. If you enjoyed, check this video with Robots Trolled everyone. I'll see you in the next one.